Good morning, students. Welcome to RPS Group of Schools online classes. Today, we will continue with the chapter of biology, module two of respiration in animals and plants. In this module, we will study respiration in humans, where we will discuss respiratory system in human beings, we will study about respiration in other animals like earthworm, cockroach, and fishes. Students, in humans, respiration takes place through a complex system of organs. These organs collectively make the respiratory system. The human respiratory system consists of a group of organs and tissues that help us to breathe. Lungs are the primary organs of the respiratory system which help in the exchange of gases. The other main parts of the system include a series of airways for the air passages, blood vessels, and the muscles that facilitate breathing. Let's study about these organs one by one. External nostrils. The nose possesses a couple of external nostrils, which are divided by cartilaginous wall called septum. Normally we take in air through our nostrils. When we inhale air, it passes through our nostrils into the nasal cavity or nasal chamber. Nasal chamber is lined with hair and mucus to filter the air and remove dust and dirt. Tiny hair covers the interior lining of nostrils, which prevent the entry of foreign particles. So, clean and filtered air enters the lungs. Pharynx. Nasal chambers open up into a wide, hollow space termed as pharynx. It is a common path for both air and food. Larynx. It is situated at the junction of pharynx and windpipe, also termed as Adam's apple. It is also called voice box as it helps in the generation of sound and thus helps us in communicating. Epiglottis. It is a flap-like structure that covers the glottis, that is the opening of larynx, and prevents the entry of food into the windpipe. Trachea. It is a long tube passing through the mid-thoracic cavity. The air from nasal passages reaches the lungs through trachea. The trachea divides into left and right bronchus, plural is bronchi, which enter the respective lungs. Bronchioles. Inside the lungs, bronchi divide and further redivide into finer channels known as bronchioles. Lungs. Lungs are a pair of sac like structures which are spongy and highly elastic. These lungs are covered by a double layered membrane known as pleura. If you see the diagram, lungs are a pair of spongy, highly elastic and bag like structures which are enclosed in an airtight thoracic cavity which is formed of backbone, ribs, and sternum. A large muscular diaphragm forms the floor of thoracic cavity and separates it from the abdominal cavity. Lungs have numerous thin walled and tiny air sacs called alveoli. The surface of alveoli is covered with a fine network of blood capillaries. When we breathe in, these alveoli get filled with fresh air. Oxygen from this air enters the blood capillaries and carbon dioxide from blood comes out in the air. To 
students do you know why you sneeze or what is sneezing the air around us has various types of unwanted particles such as smoke dust pollens etc however sometimes these particles do not get trapped in the hair follicles and may pass to the nasal cavity causing irritation in the nasal passage which results in sneezing sneezing forcefully expels these foreign particles from the inhaled air and the dust free clean air enters our body students different animals ranging from microorganisms to higher animals have different organs and mechanisms of breathing let us now study about different mechanisms of respiration in different organisms earthworm earthworm and leeches have a soft slimy and moist skin hence the gases can easily pass in and out of the earthworm through its skin by the process of diffusion this is called cutaneous respiration respiration in amoeba in organisms such as amoeba euglena paramecium etc oxygen is taken directly from the surroundings oxygen and carbon dioxide diffuse in and out through the outer cell membrane or the body surface respiration in cockroach and other insects insects such such as cockroach and grasshopper have a tracheal system running all around their body the air tubes called trachea open through small openings called spiracles for exchange of gases insects lead a very active life thus they need more amount of oxygen this is called tracheal respiration respiration in fishes fishes and other aquatic organisms take in oxygen dissolved in water and give out carbon dioxide directly in water to do so they have special organs for respiration called gills gills are covered by operculum numerous thin filaments are present inside gills these filaments are surrounded by a dense network of capillaries around them exchange of gases takes place through these blood capillaries operculum allows water to enter and pass over the gills to give oxygen and receive carbon dioxide finally the water passes out from under the operculum with this we end up module 2 will join you soon with a new module till then students take better care of yourself good